हरे कृष्ण जय अनिलो प्रेम धन कोरुना प्रचु जया नीलो प्रेम धन करुणा प्रचो हे नो प्रभु कोता गेला चार्य ठाकुरो प्रभु कोता गेला आचार्य ठाकुर मोर स्वरूप रूप कह सनात कह मोर स्वरूप रूप कह सनात कह दस रघुनाथ पतित पाव कह दस रघुनाथ पतित पाव मोर भट्ट जुग कह कबीरा मोर भट्ट जुग कह कबीरा एक काले कोता गेला गोरा नटरा एक काले कोता गेला गोरा नटरा पाशा ने कुटीबो माता आनले पशिव
पाषाने कुटिबो माता अनले पशिबो गौरागुनेर निधि कोता गेल पब गौरांग गुनेर निधि कोता गेल पब से सब संगीर संगे जे कोई लो बिलास सब संगीर संगे जे कोई लो बिला संग ना पाया कंदे नरोतम द से संग न पाया कंदे नरोतम दो प्रेम धन कोरोना प्रचु हेनो प्रभु कोता गेला आचार्य को रामाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की जय श्री रामाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर डिसअपियंस डे की जय जय कृष्ण श्री प्रभुपाद की जय सो टुडे इज अ वेरी ऑस्पेशियस डे द डिसअपियंस डे ऑफ श्री रामाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर एंड so we will uh, uh discuss about some of the um, past times uh, that we heard from sri chaitanya charitamrita and from sri chaitanya bhagavat there are so many incidents but we will try to uh, discuss few of them and uh, in that way we can just try to uh, glorify about him in whatever way possible नम ओं विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति विकास स्वामन के नाम ने नम ओं विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामन के नाम ने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गधाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 
கிருஷ்ண கிருஷ்ண ஹரே 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 ராம ஹரே ராம 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 ஹரே ஹரே ஸோ த வெரி வேர்ட் நாமாச்சாரியா மீன்ஸ் நாமா தென் ஆச்சாரியா நாம ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு தி ஹோலி நேம் ஆஃப் த லார்ட் ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ணா அண்ட் ஆச்சாரியா இஸ் தி ஒன் who teaches by example so namacharya uh, he is called as namacharya uh, namacharya haridas so because he himself so lord chaitanya mahaprabhu he came to this material world he descended to uh, give the pure love of god so he did it by chanting the names of krishna hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so namacharya haridas thakur so he personally exemplified this he did this so he chanted 3 lakh names a day and then um, he showed by simply by chanting the names of the lord one can attain pure devotion to sri krishna and um, it is mentioned that um, during so yesterday we heard uh, while we were discussing about shri bhakti vinod thakur that uh, after chaitanya mahaprabhu left this world then over a period of time as in the gita it is says sakale neha mahato yogo nashta parantapa gradually things dwindle you know the whole process of pure devotion was going away so even before chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared so there were a um, lot of uh, smarta brahmanas and so many of them so uh, there was uh, the, the importance of the holy name was not very much known in in the in the area of navadvip and like that so they were there were they had faith in the vedas they had faith in puranas like that but the holy name was not so much they did not have faith but then that was the situation in which um, ramacharya haridas thakur appeared he came and then um, he actually established how uh, by uh, simply by chanting the names of the lord one can attain perfection now uh, Uh, it is also there is another uh, significant uh, thing about him is that uh, he was uh, like you can we can give examples like prahlad maharaj uh, he appeared in the demoniac family then um, as example given hanuman he is from 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 the, from the monkey race and then namacharya haridas thakur he was not born in a brahmana family or something like that he uh, he is from from a uh, muslim family he he was born into a muslim background it is considered lower caste but then uh, he showed that um, pure devotion is beyond caste and religion and, and everything so anybody could become a pure devotee of the lord provided he takes shelter of the holy name and practices pure devotion so uh, so that's the that's uh, a little bit little bit background about him and there, there is not much information about who were his parents and those details so all we know that he was born to a muslim family and then he became a vaishnava and uh, yeah so uh, in the chaitanya bhagavat uh, there is a glorification about um, in chaitanya charitamrita in chaitanya charita uh, in chaitanya bhagavat so much glorification is given about him one specific verse he is glorified like this even lord brahma and lord shiva always desire to associate with such devotees as haridasa and the demigods desire to touch the transcendental body of haridas simply by saying his name haridas one will be promoted to krishna's abode so such as such is his glory thus we began uh, so that is the status in navadvip so uh, there were so many materialists kali worshipers so durga worship was prominent before chaitra mahaprabhu's sankirtana movement um uh, really started this was a situation and also um there were some smartas who were against vaishnavas chanting the names of krishna loudly so they didn't they, they said that it is not proper uh, and uh, they were also said that it, it by chanting the names of krishna uh, the lord loudly uh, which is not proper people will uh, the lord vishnu will get upset and he will curse as a result there will be a big famine in navadvip and there will be a it's going to be a great problem so they were creating uh, trouble like this so at that time and we know that namacharya haridas thakur used to chant his japa 
and also he was um, chanting he was he was also loudly chanting as well so then uh, in the chaitanya bhagavad it is explained how he um, there is lot of uh, shlokas which explains how he established from the scriptures that uh, chanting of the names loudly is most auspicious it's it's um, it's glorified so then um, in chaitanya bhagavad there is a nice reference that is given it is explains brahma dhanda vimuktoham sadhyaste chuta darshanat yannama grihnan akilan shrotran atmanam evacha sadhya punati king bhuyas tasya sprishta padahite so this is when um, during when nanda maharaj went to you know he was taken into the he, was, he went inside the river and he was pulled and when um, also when the snake uh, who was his demigod sudarshana he is uh, glorifying the lord and then in that he says about this oh infallible one i was immediately freed from the brahmanas punishment simply by seeing you anyone who chants your name yennama ghrnan akilan purifies all who here is chanting as well as himself so um, so this was the situation so in this in this way he uh, gave so many this is one of the reference so many references were given and also there are uh, so many past times we uh, hear about uh, namacharya haridas thakur so about uh, his his uh, great glory of chanting is um, the famous so many incidents are there we will try to see two incidents with respect to chanting the holy names so just to recollect some of the uh, famous incidents one was the uh, when he was um, there was a envious ramachandra khan who wanted to uh, when he came to know the, about haridas thakur's glories and how he is everybody is attracted and captivated by him so he sent a prostitute and through prostitute he tried to allure uh, namachari haridas thakur and we all know what happened so at the end she became a devotee she uh, she just sat next to him and then heard his chanting of the holy names so that was one famous incident and um, another incident is that about uh, this um, gopala chakravarti who actually um, he was he was trying to put down um, ramacharya haridas thakur when he was in the assembly of um, of the uh, of the vaishnavas he didn't uh, he was against the glories of chanting hari krishna we will discuss about that from chaitanya charitamrita and um, another uh, famous incident uh, also that we see in chaitanya charitamrita so there is one incident where the prostitute try to uh, allure uh, namachari haridas thakur but then in another incident maya devi herself maya devi maya devi person when she came and she tried to allure uh, namachari haridas thakur and finally she was um, she got benediction and she was blessed by namachari haridas thakur so few incidents we will try to see uh, from chaitanya charitamrita so with respect to the uh, glory of the holy name and uh, how the names can deliver the most fallen souls also sri chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, in the chaitanya charitamrita uh, he was um, he was questioning about the, uh, uh, he was asking haridas thakur about how the mlechas and yavanas they are the most fallen people how they can be delivered so this is uh, Yeah, from Antya text fifty, I'm just going to read few sections. He says, "My dear Thakur Haridasa, in the age of Kali, most people are bereft of Vedic culture, and therefore they are called Yavanas. They are concerned only with killing cows and Brahminical culture. In this way, they all engage in sinful acts. How will these Yavanas be delivered? To my great unhappiness, I do not see any way." And, uh haridas thakur replied my dear lord do not be in anxiety do not be unhappy to see the condition of the yavanas in material existence because the yavanas are accustomed to saying ha rama ha rama oh lord ramachandra they will very easily be delivered by the by this nama bhasa so um yeah so he goes on to explain about the glories of the holy name how although directly not chanting the haram so they used to chant haram uh, so he explains about that 
A devotee in, in advanced ecstatic love exclaims, Oh my Lord Ramachandra, Oh my Lord Ramachandra, but the Yavanas also chant Ha Rama. Just see their good fortune. Ramacharya Haridas will further explain. The authority on the chanting of the holy name said, The chanting of the Lord's holy name to indicate something other than the Lord is an instance of Namabhas. Even when the holy name is chanted in this way, its transcendental power is not destroyed. Dhangstri dhamstra dhamstra hato mlecho ha rameti punaf punaha Ukpapi muktim apnoti king puna shraddhaya granan Even a mlecha who is being killed by the tusk of a boar and who carries in distress again and again ha rama ha rama attains liberation. What then to speak of those who chant the holy name with veneration and faith? Then he goes on to quote about the famous incident of Ajamila Leela, how in Ajamila, although inadvertently, you know, he didn't really think of uh, Vishnu, but he chanted the name of his son Narayana. So how, how that uh, created him a great destination. So then he goes on to explain, text 58. The word Rama consists of two syllables, Ra and Ma. These are unseparated and are, re and are decorated with loving word Ha meaning Ho. The letters of the holy name have so much spiritual potency that they act even when uttered improperly. If a devotee once utters the holy name of the Lord or if it penetrates his mind or enters his ear, which is the channel of oral reception, that holy name will certainly deliver him from material bondage, whether vibrated properly or improperly with correct or incorrect grammar, or properly joined or vibrated in separate parts. O Brahmana, the potency of the holy name is therefore certainly great. However, if one uses the vibration of the holy name of the Lord, vibration of the holy name for the benefit of the material body, for material wealth and followers, or under the influence of greed or atheism. In other words, if one utters the name with offenses, such chanting will not produce the desired result very soon. Therefore, one should diligently avoid offences in chanting the holy name of the Lord. So it's very clear um, from this verse that one may chant the names of Krishna. You may ask, okay, I am chanting Hare Krishna. Why am I not experiencing love of God? I should experience love of God, love of God immediately. That's what we see from the scriptures. But then... The problem with us is that we have so many uh, speculative ideas. So we are looking for you know, how I can use the holy name and how I can engage Lord in my service to satisfy my senses. So that is the problem. So as long as we have such a mentality, we will never be able to reap the real benefit of the holy name. So we need to avoid the 10 offenses uh, which, um, which are actually uh, uh, a stumbling block for us to make progress in Krishna consciousness. To experience pure love of God, we have to avoid. So he continues, <clears throat> If one offenselessly utters the holy name, even imperfectly, one can be freed from the results of sinful life. O reservoir of all good qualities, just worship, worship Sri Krishna, the purifier of all purifiers, the most exalted of the personalities, worship by choice poetry. Worship him with a faithful, unflinching mind, without duplicity and in a highly elevated manner, thus worshipping the Lord, whose name is like the sun. For just as a slight appearance of the sun dissipates the darkness of night, so a slight appearance of the holy name of Krishna can drive away all the darkness of ignorance that arises in the heart due to greatly sinful activities performed in previous life. So then he says, Nama Bhasa Haite Hai Samsare Rekshai even a faint light from the holy name of the Lord can eradicate all the reactions of sinful life. Mriyamano Harer Nama Grinan Putro Pacharitam Ajamilo Pyagad Dhamma Kimuta Shraddhaya Grinan. So he says, Kimuta Shraddhaya Grinan. What to speak when Mriyamano, even at the time of death, what happened? Ajamila chanted the name of Hari, but he chanted calling his son. 
But then, what is the destination he attained? He, 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 was, he went back to the spiritual world. So similarly, he says, Kim What to speak of those who will chant with faith? What will be their destination? Because of even the faintest rays of the effulgence of the Lord's holy name, one can attain liberation. We can see this in all the revealed scriptures. The evidence appears in the story of Ajamila in Srimad Bhagavatam. So when uh, Krishna Skavaraj Goswami explains when uh, Namachari Haridas Thakur was glorifying like this, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so pleased. His ecstasy increased. He was so happy hearing about clear understanding about the holy name. So then um, he is explaining, on this earth there are many living entities, the Lord said, some moving and some not moving. What will happen to the trees, plants, insects, and other living entities, how will they be delivered from material bondage? So Namacharya Haridas replied, My dear Lord, the deliverance of all moving and non-moving living entities take place only by your mercy. You have already granted this mercy and delivered them. You have loudly chanted the Hare Krishna mantra and everyone moving or not moving has benefited by hearing it. My Lord, the moving entities who have heard your loud Sankirtana have already been delivered from bondage to the material world and after the non-moving living entities like trees hear it, there is an echo. Actually, however, it is not an echo, it is the kirtana of the non-moving living entities. All this, although inconceivable, is possible by your mercy. So here he says that, um, that yeah, there is an echo, the, the, actually the echo is the kirtana of the non-moving living entities. So how to understand this? It is inconceivable. We cannot understand how the non-moving living entities is making sound. So he explains that. When loud chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra is performed all over the world by those who follow in your footsteps, all living entities, moving and non-moving, dance in ecstatic devotional love. So, so this is a section in which he um, glorifies how the Nama Bhas can take one to the highest level. Then, then another incident in which... Um, Again, the glories of the holy name is uh, very much emphasized in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Is the uh, situation in which um, Namachari Haridas Thakur, uh, when he when he moved to uh, the village called um, yeah, he was in he was in Benapola when this um, when he was he was uh, they were trying to uh, attack him with the prostitute. But then later he moved to Shantipur, and then there. In the association of Balram Acharya and other devotees, so they used to meet and they used to discuss about Krishna Katha and also he will glorify about the power of the holy name. So during one such instance, um, Namacharya Haridas Thakur was, um, was invited uh, to be in the assembly of these Mujumdars and other great Vaishnavas. So this was the incident and uh, so they gave an introduction about Namacharya Haridas Thakur. Who was he? What is his background? They said, it was mentioned in the assembly that Haridas Thakur chanted the holy names of Krishna three lakh times a day. Thus all learned scholars began to discuss the glories of the holy name. Some of them said, by chanting the holy name of the Lord, one is freed from the reactions of all sinful life. Others said, simply by chanting the holy name of the Lord, a living being is liberated from material bondage. So this is something we need to understand. One is... Um, getting freed from sinful life and another one is getting liberation. So if we have a conception that, so this is what the holy, yes the holy name does that. It liberates us uh, from this material world, from repeated birth, death, old age and disease, we get freed from that. And also um, one is freed from all the reactions, all the sinful reactions, there is no doubt about that. So then when Namachar Haridas Thakur, we heard this, immediately he protested. So he, he, he said, Haridas kahene namer e dui palanai namere pale krishna pade prema upajai. So this is an important point. But actually this is the, by chanting names of Krishna, you know, we develop love of God. We please Krishna and then we develop love of God. This is the, um, this is the real essence of chanting the names of Krishna. Haridas Chakra protested, those, these two benedictions are not the true result of chanting the holy name. Actually by chanting the holy name without offenses, one awakes his ecstatic love for the lotus feet of Krishna. So then he 
establish actually uh, by chanting the names of Krishna what should happen to a person. So one becomes mad uh, and uh, he, he becomes mad. He is uh, in, in, um, in the society. They will consider him as mad. He may, be, he may roll on the ground. He, he, may, uh, he, he has all this Ashta Satvika Vikara. He eight transformations that happens in the body by chanting the names of Krishna. So that uh, he quotes the famous verse from the Bhagavatam. Evam Vritasva Priyanama Kirtya Jatanurago Drita Chitta Uchaihi Asatyato Roditi Rauti Ghayat Yunmada Vanrityati Loka Bhagyaha. When a person is actually advanced and takes pleasure in chanting the holy name of the Lord, who is very dear to him, he is agitated and loudly chants the holy name. He also laughs, cries, becomes agitated and chants just like a madman, not caring for outsiders. Then he goes on to explain, liberation and extinction of the reactions of sinful life are two concomitant byproducts of chanting the holy name of the Lord. An example is found in the gleams of morning sunlight. As the rising sun immediately dissipates all the world's darkness, which is deep like an ocean, so the holy name of the Lord, if chanted once without offenses, dissipates all the reactions of a living being's sinful life. All glories to that holy name of the Lord, which is auspicious for the entire world. Jayati Jagan Mangalam Harer Nama. This is what Sri Rupa Goswami says. After reciting this verse, Haridas Thakur said, O learned scholars, please explain the meaning of this verse. But the audience requested Haridas Thakur, it is better, better for you to explain the meaning of this important verse. Haridas Thakur said, As the sun begins to rise, even before it is visible, it dissipates the darkness of night. With the first glimpse of sunlight, fear of thieves, ghosts and demons immediately disappears. And when the sun is actually visible, everything is manifest and everyone begins performing his religious activities and regulative duties. So, Aiche Namo Dhyarambe Papa Adhirakshai Udai Kaile Krishna Pade Similarly, the first hint that offenseless chanting of the Lord's holy name as awakened dissipates the reactions of the sinful life immediately. And when one chants the holy name offenselessly, one awakens to service in ecstatic love at the lotus feet of Krishna. So then he explains, Mukti Tuchafal Haya Nama Bhasha Haite. So liberation is the insignificant result derived from a glimpse of the awakening of offenseless chanting of the holy name. So, what is the approach of the pure devotees? The pure devotees, they, as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Sikshashtaka, he, um, he stresses the point, na dhanam, na janam, na sundarim, kavitam va jagadisha kamaye, mama janmani janmaneshwari bhavatad bhakti rahay tukitvai. So what is, what is that the devotee hankers? The devotee, he only wants to engage in pure devotion service of the Lord, birth after birth. He does not want, um, he does not want wealth, he does not want followers, he does not want glorification. He is least interested in all these things. What to speak of? Liberation and uh, getting free from any reaction. There is no motive a devotee has other than simply pleasing the Lord. So uh, Namacharya Haridas Thakur goes on to explain, Liberation, which is unacceptable for a pure devotee, is always offered by Krishna without difficulty. So he goes on to explain, Salokya sarshti sarupya samipya ikatvam apyuta diyamanam nagrananti vinamat sevanam janaha My devotees do not accept salokya sarshti sarupya samipya or oneness with me, even if I offer these liberations in preference to serving me. So this is from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 3, Chapter 29, Text 13. So now, after having very clearly established that how simply we chant the names of Krishna for the pleasure of the Lord and Krishna being pleased by the chanting of the devotee, then uh, the devotee is naturally happy, naturally satisfied. So when uh, Gopal Chakravarti, he couldn't um, hear this. He was... Uh, he was really, he was very much disturbed after hearing all these explanations from um, yeah, from Namachar Haridas Thakur. Then, 
he became very angry and then he said the young man gopal chakravarti became very angry upon hearing the statements of haridas he immediately criticized him oh assembly of learned scholars he said just hear the conclusion of the emotional devotee so the also sometimes we see you know people they say that oh these people hari krishna people are simply dancing they are simply singing but they do not know this singing and dancing is the culmination of devotional service the the, the, uh, the essence of the devotional service is to loudly chant the names of krishna and dance in ecstasy glorifying him but they do not know behind this there is a big philosophical backup that the conclusion of scriptures bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam it concludes that ultimately we have to uh, develop faith in the chanting of the holy name of the lord by developing faith in the chanting of the holy name of the lord uh, we um, we actually glorify the lord we please the lord and uh, that is what the supreme lord sri krishna himself came to give in this material world so he came to establish that so um, so gopal chakravarti could not understand this so he said koti janme brahma gyan jai mukti noy he kahe nama bhashe she mukti hoy after many many millions of births when one is complete in absolute knowledge one still may not attain liberation yet this man says that one may attain it simply by the awakening of a glimpse of the holy name what is this you know he saying what you know after so many lifetimes you no know, one may develop some gyan but this is what he is speaking doesn't make sense haridas thakur said why are you doubtful the revealed scriptures say that one can attain liberation simply by a glimpse of offenseless chanting of the holy name nama bhas matre mukti hoy bhakti suka age mukti ati tuchcha hoy ata eva bhakta ghan mukti nahi lai for a devotee who enjoys the transcendental bliss of devotional service liberation is most insignificant therefore pure devotee is never desire to achieve liberation so this as uh, practicing sadhakas we have to be uh, very clear that we chant the holy names of krishna for the pleasure of the lord so as we often we hear that you know like people come they say that you know i have this problem i have that problem by chanting hare krishna you know my back problem should be solved by chanting hare krishna you know i have financial problems i, I need to uh, i need to get more money so uh, but while we are preaching we have to be very clear we encourage people when they come we simply you chant the names of krishna uh, and uh, but as we um, preach the cross of krishna consciousness we very clearly say that uh, we chant the names of krishna for krishna's pleasure and uh, and that is the pure devotional service so that we need to understand so uh, so this is uh, one incident so where uh, we can see how ramachary haridas thakur was so fixed in chanting the names of the lord and he was uh, pleasing the lord so there is a uh, another famous incident also uh, that we know that how he is although he was he is from a uh, muslim background that when uh, advaita acharya prabhu he was giving the uh, at the end of the shraddha ceremony the shraddha patra is uh, given to a brahmana so when ramacharya haridas thakur was he was present among the so many brahmanas were there but advaita acharya he um, glorified uh, haridas thakur and then he offered this shraddha patra to him so but then uh, then advaita acharya said that you are so glorious than um, so many um, thousands and thousands of brahmanas you are the topmost vaishnava so you need to be pleased by giving you vishnu is pleased krishna is pleased so now all that incident was amazing so all the brahmanas were stunned to see how uh, regarding the great elevated position of ramachari haridas thakur and um, so we will also discuss about uh, this incident which is um, not often discussed one is the, the yeah we all know that the incident of how um, haridas thakur uh, he actually convinced the prostitute and then she became a great devotee and this incident is about the um, how the how uh, maya herself she came and then she uh, took shelter of uh, haridas thakur so she came to allure uh, haridas thakur and then the uh, same incident so he was continuously chanting first day he was chanting the names of krishna and the second day also he was continuing to chant the names of krishna and third day also he was continuously continuously chanting the names of krishna and finally maya devi uh, revealed to her that actually it was it is me who came and then she 
she uh, said that i heard about the glories of uh, rama's name from uh, shiva her, her own husband but then from your lotus mouth i would like to hear about the glories of krishna's name so then uh, there is a section in chaitanya charitamrita where he uh, um, haridas thakur glorifies about how um, simply by chanting the names of the lord and by uh, uh, with great devotion glorifying him one will be uh, very pleased so that incident is very uh, amazing and um, yeah there is another famous incident when uh, the um, when the yeah when the muslim rulers when when he went on chanting the names of krishna he, he uh, yeah he was uh, they tried to um, uh, they were actually scared that haridas was becoming very popular and then he was by the spreading of the holy names he was attracting all the people in the village so the uh, the governor uh, the muslim governor wanted to arrest uh, haridas thakur although he gave so many explanations about the glories of the holy name they were not he was not interested so he just gave him only two choice he said that he said that either you give up the belief you now you are from the islamic background you either give up the belief of practicing the so called krishna consciousness or the solution is you better you die better you have to be killed so then at the time that um, that famous verse was spoken so how namachar haridas thakur said that if my body is uh, even if my body is cut into pieces even if i am killed uh, i will not stop chanting hare krishna so i will be continuously <laughs> i will continue to chant hare krishna so then he was then this incident happened then he was further he was beaten in the 22 market places and then um, he was thrown into the ganga then um, again so the the the, uh, the the soldiers who were who were uh, trying to uh, uh, do this act they were very much scared they were requesting him you better you die <laughs> otherwise we are in trouble we are we are going to go back to our king and then we are going to be in trouble so so Uh, they went, and then they threw him in ganga so he was just floating so then uh, then he went to the other side of the ganga then um, yeah then finally uh, this is another the amazing incident is that actually after that after this incident uh, this this shows also we see uh, in, in the song of shila bhakti ranta kuri speaks about two things one is um, in, you can see in quite some songs specifically in that song um, what is that song kabe habe bolo se din amar at the end of the song he says there are two things a devotee will always possess one is the taste for chanting the names of krishna and also compassion for the fallen souls so in spite of these uh, the the um, all this uh, soldiers who were harassing him he was at the end when they when they met him so he was very compassionate to them so he, he forgave them and blessed them also to get devotion so there is another amazing incident that he did and then um yeah so that is that is another incident that happened and um, another uh, point that we see that uh, uh, there are uh, two reasons for chaitanya mahaprabhu's descent to this uh, to this world one is we all know that uh, advaita acharya uh, he the loud chanting you know he offered uh, we have this picture here we have we offered he offered uh, to the shaligram tulasi and water and then he also loudly uh, called for the lord to descend and also he said that even also namacharya haridas thakur he was doing his bhajan in the cave he was sitting and then he was also chanting the names and on, on the other hand advaita acharya prabhu was calling the name so on the plea of advaita acharya and um, namacharya haridas thakur sri chaitanya mahaprabhu he descended and also uh, we see from um, yeah uh, and in the antya leela of the chaitanya charitamrita there are uh, how sri chaitanya mahaprabhu exchanged loving reciprocation with um, haridas thakur we could see so he he claimed that uh, when he said that uh, when he was he was staying in jagannath puri so chaitanya mahaprabhu gave a place for him to stay there so he was uh, he, he wanted to he prepared himself that he wanted to leave this world so he was every day used to chant and chaitanya mahaprabhu used to send through govinda he will send the mahaprasadam of jagannath and uh, he was also used to come and then see chaitanya mahaprabhu time to time and uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu used to see haridas thakur from time to time and uh, 
so uh, when he prepared that you know it's time for me to leave so yeah this famous incident is there where he said that i have a disease the disease is that i'm not able to complete my rounds <laughs> so that is what uh, haridas takur said so chaitanya mahaprabhu said that what is that you have to do so but he but uh, haridas takur said no i have to complete my rounds so then uh, in the chaitanya charitamrita at the end just i just read few verses yeah so the uh, glory of haridas takur so chaitanya mahaprabhu says that let us all sing the glories of haridas takur haridas was the crest jewel of the world by his death the earth has lost its treasure out of his great mercy krishna had given me his association and now he has taken him away when haridasa himself wished to leave the world i could not hold him back just like bishma deva haridasa gave up his life at his own will this is from chaitanya charitamrita antya so chaitanya mahaprabhu he was um, so pleased he personally carried uh, haridasa takur and then he did this cremation and there was a a uh, ro- uh, um great glorious kirtan that happened uh, after the departure of haridas takur so there uh, there was a great kirtan and the devotees were dancing in great ecstasy and then sumptuous prasadam was distributed and um, and also this the place where he was buried in in the in jagannath puri sea so that became a great tirtha that became charanamrita so that charanamrita so he said that that water which has washed the lotus feet of a devotee so that is there is nothing in comparison to that so in one of the songs by shri narottam das takuri says that, that there may be um, the, the ganga and there are so many holy waters are there but the water is becomes even more glorious when a devotee bathes in that a devotee like a great devotee like haridas takuri uh, lotus feet is um, yeah he was he was washed by that and also here shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he was uh, making a point that uh, the pure devotees although that we heard yesterday all the devotees all the devotee may disappear from from our physical vision but still the devotee uh, he lives in his instructions while living he preaches the glories of the holy name and he saves the lives of the conditioned souls and after leaving from this world apparently from our for our mortal vision they have left but still they live with the instructions and then they um by their instructions still they are guiding the condition so 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 and and specifically our shri prabhupad he uh, in quite some lectures he pointed out about the glories of ramachari haridas takur and one other thing shri prabhupad also he um, he also warned that we nobody can artificially imitate haridas takur so one may one cannot you know we cannot chant 24 hours a day in our in our current situation it is that is not possible but um that's why we have the whole program with for us that you know we have the we have the morning program we have mangalarati we have japa then we have bhagavatam class we have various services and then throughout the day we are engaged in various services and evening we have gita class and like that gita class and other programs are there and we can engage in various preaching activities but always um as krishna says in the bhagavad gita that uh, tasmat sarveshu kaleshu maam anusmara yudhya cha मई अर्पित मनो बुद्धिर मामे वैसे ससंक्षय है सो तस्मा सर्वेशु कालेशु ऑल द टाइम यू नो आई विल अर्जुन आई विल बीइंग एंगेज इन दिस वॉरफायर यू थिंक ऑफ मी इट्स नॉट सो इजी बट दैट इज व्हाई वी आर हियर वी हैव टू प्रैक्टिस इन द एसोसिएशन ऑफ डिवोटीज सो व्हेन वी आर व्हेन वी एसोसिएट विद एडवांस डिवोटीज वी सी ऑल्दो दे मे बी एंगेज इन वेरियस एक्टिविटीज बट दे आर दे नो वेरी क्लियरली दैट दे आर डूइंग इट फॉर द प्रेशर ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड आल्सो दे आर ऑलवेज अब्सॉर्ब In, in the lord's name form and uh, uh, ityadi and his and his various attributes so similarly so by associating with those advanced devotees who are following in the footsteps of great personalities like namacharya haridas takur following the footsteps of shri prabhupada so we can um, we may also get purified one day and also we see uh, again and again in so many songs we see that for us to make advancement in spiritual life we really need the mercy of pure devotees without the mercy of pure devotees our own sadhana our own practice um, that is there but but actually it ultimately it is uh, invoked by the mercy of the pure devotee so if not for uh, shri prabhupad who, who had come to this world and had given this whole process of this krishna consciousness uh, we would have what we would have been doing we will we will be somewhere um, 
if we engaged in some kind of a sense gratificatory activities it could be gross it could be subtle but anything that is not um, with with uh, with respect to the devotional service of the lord it is we are in a conditioned world we are again and again going to be born and again and again going to be engaged in various sense gratificatory activities so uh, we are eternally indebted to shila prabhupada and his followers for introducing us um, to further to the ocean of love of god to the great personalities um, from the uh, uh, from chaitanya leela there are so many great devotees of the lord are there so one very exemplary great devotee is is ramachari haridas thakur so we get inspiration so we can offer our prayers uh, on this day that um, we may get purified so uh, for us uh, so the one another important thing is that for us we need to understand what is the mission of the acharya so shila prabhupad he came yeah he wanted to yeah we know that he first he gave he asked the devotees to chant 64 rounds and then later devotees expressed their difficulty to do 60 then he said can you can chant 32 rounds then so finally he came down to 16 rounds of the hare krishna maha mantra at least minimum 16 rounds you chant and then what and then you can you, why only 16 rounds that is also the shila prabhupad said why only 16 rounds we can chant so many millions of names but at least for now in our condition state we should try to uh, chant our rounds uh, and we can offer our prayers to haridas thakur we are all struggling with our body mind and senses but on this auspicious day by invoking our prayers offering prayers to uh, these great personalities we will be able to um, make some progress so so that is the whole point um, so we will stop here so if you have any questions or any realizations any other points you can please add yes prabhu yeah so uh, i'll just repeat the question if uh, so you know a, a boy may be in a family of devotees and then uh, you know he is he is chanting hare krishna parents are pushing him that you know you have to chant 16 rounds and then the boy is saying that no it is said in the scriptures that once chanting krishna's name one will be liberated one will go out of the material world so i have done that so why are you pushing me to chant 16 rounds so so this is the point yes so oh, okay so the, the the point is that i have so much so many times i have chanted krishna's name so maybe i have already have chanted once purely so maybe maybe i chanted once purely so uh, why i should chant sixteen rounds so the point is that if okay one is that you have chanted once purely that means that you will not even ask this question that you will continue to chant you will chanting uh, leads to further chanting further glorification another thing is that our attitude in krishna consciousness very clearly um, it is even krishna in the gita he says neha vikrama nasosti pratyavayona vidyate svalpam apyasi dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat even little bit of uh, engagement in devotion service can save one from the greatest danger so so that is the point even a little bit of devotion service can save one from great danger so you have you have engaged in chanting the names of the lord so you know, once you have chanted but you can further go on chanting because chanting leads to further bliss you you will become more happy you will be more immersed and more you chant the more we give pleasure to krishna the more we become purified so that is one point and um, another point is that uh, yeah we can see from the examples of all the great personalities it's not that we chanted 16 rounds of the hare krishna maha mantra and then after that uh we we uh, one, this one 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 devotee asked me this now we are chanting 16 rounds of hare krishna mantra when i go back to spiritual world should i need to chant so this is uh, the chanting is the eternal function of the soul and uh, we need to understand that by chanting the names of the lord naturally the lord will be pleased and we will be pleased so one has to uh, get this understanding so we have to encourage but there is no point in uh, pushing someone to chant one has to get this uh, understanding by the association of devotees and uh, and uh, make progress like that yes
Yes, the point. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. Yeah, yes, if someone has really chanted purely, then yeah, he will never, he will continue like that. So that that is an, another clear symptom that he has not really chanted purely. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, correct. It's it's Nama Prad and uh, and also the, we sometimes we uh, devotees have the conception that by yes by chanting purely we can make uh, we can make advancement in Krishna consciousness. No no doubt about that. But then uh, sometimes they say what, what about there are other things. For example, we have <coughs> our mission. Prabhupada has a plan to expand the Krishna consciousness movement, save the conditioned souls. So so sometimes they say chanting alone will lead to the perfection. True, but then also there are other things in the Krishna Consciousness Movement which the Acharya has given us as an instruction to follow in specifically we being Prabhupada Anugas, we should have this mood of preaching and giving the holy name to others and help others to take up Krishna Consciousness. So that should also not be forgotten. So otherwise then as Srila Bhaktisanda Saraswati Thakur also points out that uh, this Nirjana Bhajana, I will just chant the names of Krishna but then as Srila Prabhupada also, he many times mentioned the point that if whomsoever artificially tries like that, I will go and then I will just simply chant Krishna's name. We can see they ended up in um, gross sense gratificatory activities because we are not on that level of 24 hours chanting Krishna's name. So we need to engage in various services. We have to purify our mind and senses constantly by engaging in various services. Then we become more qualified to chant the names of Krishna. And as we said this point again, we, we get this uh, by the mercy of the pure devotee. So unless we understand the mood of the pure devotee, what he wants, and we do something else, then we may not really reap the benefit of chanting the names of the Lord. So that needs to be understood as well. Anything else? Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, so the question is, if you, what, is the, uh, what is the problem when we preach that you chant the names of Krishna, you get, uh, you know, your back problem will be solved, you, you, may get, uh, you may get money and like that. What is the danger in that? The danger is that when someone does chanting in that motivated way, say, let's say someone chants Hare Krishna and then maybe, uh, you know, he got a lottery or what, he got some money or his back pain is solved. But then again, next time, so his expectation is set that, okay, I chant Krishna's name, I, it, my, I will get these benefits. But then it may not happen next time. Then what will happen? I'm completely he will give up chanting the names of the Lord. So this is, a, this, is a, this is a very wrong attitude with which we approach. So we should, in upfront, we should tell people that just we chant the names of Krishna and then Krishna is pleased, we get... You, you know, you, uh, you you please the Lord and then we have to explain the philosophy of Krishna consciousness. It's not just, uh, you know, like you chant and then you become, uh, everything will be all, everything you will get. So, but then at one point, at least even somebody may start like that, but very clearly we have to spell it out that chanting is not, uh, what is Shuddha Bhakti? We need to explain that we are meant, we are part and parcel of Krishna, we are meant to please Krishna, uh, our mind and senses are meant to please the Lord. So that is real prema, everything else is karma. So like that we need to explain, we need to preach. Otherwise, the, the danger is, this is the danger, that you may completely be uh, distracted and then you will just, for the holy name is here to give the pure love of God, but we may end up getting so many other things and then we have to remain in this material world. So this is the danger. Okay, thank you very much. Namacharya Srila Haridas Takur Ki Jai. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Hare Krishna